We've seen that available memory and storage restricts data sets that can be analyzed. A common strategy is to subdivide data sets into smaller parts. We'll use a 200,000 line file summarizing New York City cab rides from the first two weeks of 2013. Then, using read CSV with the parameter chunk size equals 50,000, the function returns an object we can iterate over. The loop variable chunk takes on the values of four successive data frames, each having 50,000 lines except the last, because the first line in the file is the header line. The loop variable chunk has standard data frame attributes like shape. So the last chunk has almost 50,000 rows and 14 columns. Calling the info method shows the column names like trip time in sex and trip distance. We can construct a logical series is long trip that is true whenever the trip time exceeds 1200 seconds or 20 minutes. Recall we can use the dot loc accessor with the Boolean series is long trip to filter rows where this condition holds. The shape attribute reveals about 5,500 taxi rides longer than 20 minutes in duration from this chunk of 50,000 trips. Let's embed this filtering logic within a function, filter is long trip, that accepts a data frame as input and returns a data frame whose rows correspond to the trips over 20 minutes. Next, we make a list of data frames called chunks by iterating over the output of read CSV, this time using chunks of 1,000 lines. Rather than initializing an empty list chunks and appending elements within a loop, we can also use a list comprehension to build the list. Remember, this list comprehension is equivalent to the preceding for loop. In both cases, each chunk is filtered as it is read from disk. We can use another comprehension called lengths to see that the data frames in the list chunks each have around 100 to 200 rows rather than 1,000 rows in the unfiltered chunks. The pandas function concat accepts this list of data frames with common column labels and stacks them vertically. The resulting data frame long trips df has almost 22,000 rows, much fewer than the original 200,000. Finally, we can visualize these trips. The result looks something like this. We generate the last plot with this code. We start by importing matplotlib.pyplot and constructing a scatter plot using plot.scatter. We apply labels and display the plot with plot.show. Remember, we used filtering or logical indexing to extract the small subset of relevant data in manageable chunks. The entire data set was never in memory at one time. Take some time now to practice reading and filtering files in chunks in the exercises.